All right, let's do the second half of the list for Leonardo's horse. Let me move my list up. All right, the next word is rowboat. Sound it out. R O B O T. R O O at the end of a base word. Remember, we're doing compound words. At the end of this base word is O. It can be spelled with O W. Row. Boat. B. B. My lips are closed. That reminds me the line is first and then the bubble. O in the middle of a base word can be spelled with an O A or an O silent E. In this word, it's O A. And the last sound is T. Rowboat. The next word is scrapbook. You make a book out of scraps. Scrapbook. Sound it out. S k r a p b u k. All right. Scrap. S k r a p. Lips are closed. The bubble sits on the writing line. Scrap. This is a closed syllable, a single short vowel, followed by one or more consonants. The vowel is short. A. Ah. The next word is book. B. The line comes first and then the bubble. U. Uh, two O's. And K. Remember the CK up here in sick? The k is spelled with a ck when it follows a single short vowel. This is a vowel team, so we're not going to spell it with a ck. It will only be the k. The next word is countryside. Sound it out. K, a, n, t, r, e, s, i, d. Countryside. The first sound is k. Uh, I'm not sure why the uh in this word is spelled the O U. It may be the word origin. I didn't get a chance to look it up. But uh in country is spelled with O U. N T R E. E at the end of a base word can be spelled with a Y. The next part of this word is side. I, d, d. Remember, the bubble comes first on the D. D, d. It's like a drum. The bubble sticks out in front. The drum sticks out in front in a parade. The bubble sticks out. Now, this needs to be the long I sound. So, silent E will make the I say its long name. I, countryside. The next word is lightweight. L, I, T. W A T. All right, we need to think about the meanings of the word lightweight. Lightweight means it doesn't weigh very much. Okay, so light meaning not heavy, it's very light. And weight dealing with not, I have to wait for the letter, not waiting for time, but weight as in how heavy is it. So lightweight. It's going to have a specific spelling based upon its meaning. L I. Now, light for meaning not weighing very much is spelled I G H I G H T. Light. This spelling for light could be um, the sun gives us light, so a shining light, as well as light meaning it doesn't weigh very much. Weight. W. Now, weight for dealing with how heavy something is. E I G H. And T. The I and A. E I G H is a very long way of spelling the A sound. Light, weight. The next word is spotlight. Let's sound it out. S p a t l i t sp 
spotlight, like I shine a spotlight. So we're talking about a shining light. Let's spell the word spot. S P A T Spot. That's a closed syllable, a single vowel, followed by one or more consonants. The vowel is going to be short. Light. Like a shining light. L I I G H and T spotlight. The next word is whirlpool. Sounded out. Wh er l p u l. Whirlpool. Wh is not just a W, it's a W with lots of extra air. Wh. That spell with a W H. Wh. Er. Er can be spelled I R U R E R. In this word, it's I R. Pull. Pull. P -p. The line comes first and then the bubble. Oo. That's that double O. Boo book. It's the oo like in boo book. Ul, whirlpool. The next word is greenhouse. Sound it out. G, r, e, n, h, o, s, g, r, e. E in the middle of a base word can be spelled double e, e a, e, silent e. In the word green, it is spelled with two E's. Green. N is the next sound. Green. House. H. Owl. Owl is an owl. In the middle of a base word, it's spelled with an O U. And S. So if this word doesn't look plural, we use the silent E. It's not to make the Vowels say a different sound. Vowel teams say their own sound. It's only to make the word not plural. House. Alright. The next word is thumbtack. Thumbtack. Sound it out. Th, a, m, t, a, k. Alright. Thumbtack. The first sound is my tongue is out. I'm blowing quiet air. That's a digraph. Remember, a digraph is two letters representing one sound. It goes in one box. Th. Uh is the U. Mmm. And this word, it has a silent consonant. Let me put this card up for you. This usually occurs in either the initial or final position of a word. Okay, that you have a silent consonant. In other words, two consonants are together, but only one of them makes its own sound. It does not make a new sound. And here's the MB, like in thumb and lamb. Okay, MB, the B is silent, only the M says its sound. Because it's only representing one sound, the MB is going to go in one box. Thumb. The next part of the word is tack. T. A. And K. Now, K at the end of a base word following a single short vowel, like A is a single short vowel, the K is represented with the CK. All right. Well, I hope you do really well on your spelling test and are able to read your words in Leonardo's horse very well. See you next time.